No, I didn't park in front of this light because I knew I would be doing this, but like having this like light there makes it a whole lot easier for this. You but, um, dramatic drama queen. <laughs> um, howdy everyone. You're Pyro here with the Vlog. Um, Matt and I, we just finished watching Spider-Man Far From Home, and we actually saw it at a movie theater that I haven't been to until today. Out of state because, yeah. I mean, yeah, but it was like a, a ten minute drive at most. Mm -hmm. But, um, yep. Anyways, I am about to start the car, so Matt, you're going to need to, um... Yes. There. You're gonna need to man the helm with the camera. Okay, hello. Take it. Far From Home was pretty enjoyable. I will say that I think I prefer the um, uh, Homecoming. Yes, I would say I prefer Homecoming to Far From Home. But this one was still pretty enjoyable. I would probably put it on the tier on the along the lines of like, try and think, like Ant-Man in the terms of it's like, okay, enjoyable movie. Yes. A nice relief of the heaviness from Endgame and things like that. Yep. Does it connect to the larger scheme? It sets some stuff up for sure. Yep. But not in any over dramatic. Well, like, there's dramaticism, but yeah. it's it's just you know it's a it's a B, it's a good B movie. It's just enjoyable. Starts a little choppy, uh, but then it's just off and running. It's fun. A lot of funny yeah. moments. Characterization's good. A lot of callbacks, which is really clever. Yes. A lot of callbacks. Some that we didn't realize until after. <laughs> yeah, like I sat in the car and go, holy crap. But, um, Those bastards. Jake Gyllenhaal killed it as yes. Mysterio. That was awesome. Although there was no scene like in the Homecoming. I I'm gonna spoil a bit of Homecoming. Like one of my favorite scenes. Dude, it's been out like four years. Shh. Spoiler still. But like one of my favorite scenes in Homecoming is when Michael Keaton's character figures out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. There was nothing like that in this movie. Well, kind of knows. Well, right, nothing right like. Away. Nothing like. Well, literally, um, hi, I'm Spider-Man. How you doing? There's nothing like. As nothing that made me go like, oh man, this is a really cool scene. Like, you mean the elementals wrecking everything weren't cool? Well, that was cool, but like that was top line CGI, man. I mean, come on. Yeah, but like, it didn't have that same charm that Michael Keaton's one scene. Well, in... Michael Keaton is a ridiculous actor, anyway. Yes, but like that—that's one of my favorite scenes in Homecoming, and like that's like one of the reasons why I love that scene or that movie so much. I, I do love Homecoming. I've, it's, I think it's the one I've seen the most. Like the Marvel Cinematic Universe movie I've seen the most. But um, anyways, back to this movie. I mean, again, really just like... again, it was just enjoyable. It was a break. This is the official last movie of Phase Three. Yes. At parts, it did serve as an epilogue. You know, Spider Man having to step up and kind of you know girl pair. You know, he's yep. a, he's a Spidey Tingle, Peter Tingle. Yeah, his Peter stuff. Tingle. Yep, he's got to find his Peter Tingle. Um. That was, that was a really so, good So yeah, I mean, again, you know, the, the, the ending, there, there are end credit scenes back yes. again. I mean, it doesn't set up, like, any major teaser for Phase 4, but no. it, do, it does leave you going, like, oh, okay. Yes. A little bit here. The first end uh, post credit scene. Oh, has a great Easter egg. Oof. Oh, my God. There was one where me and Matt, like, oh, we didn't think they'd do that, but they did. And then the, the second post credit scene is just, like, a nice little lighthearted, goofy thing. I think it has some significance, but they, they got it crafted. But, yeah, Far From Home, I liked a lot. Not as much as Homecoming, but that, that's just me personally. This one was still pretty enjoyable, watching um, Peter try to enjoy his summer vacation. Ned is my favorite character. Motorcycles. But, um, Albany's card games. No, that's a different series entirely. But, um, yeah, I, I enjoy whenever Ned has, like... He has really funny lines, which is why I enjoy him a lot. But, um, what else? Uh, don't go Nick Fury. You know what's really depressing? What? This is the last official Marvel Cinematic Universe movie we're gonna have till probably next April sometime. Yeah. And we, I mean, yeah. Probably Black Widow's up next. Maybe they haven't really said anything. About well, it. well, Comic Con's coming up next month, and they're probably gonna drop the next few. Also, Tom Holland. He, I love Tom. He's Holland. a great Spider-Man. Yeah. He's just so nerdy and geeky. He has that Peter Tingle. Oh, that Peter Tingle. But um, anything else you want to say? Um, we're coming up on the Glowy Bridge. Yeah. So I mean, I would. I, enjoyable. I liked it. Nice little way to kind of wrap up phase phase three. Yeah. 
very eager to see what's going on with phase four. I'm yes. gonna now start saving my pennies because whenever they release the inevitable Infinity Saga collector set, I'm gonna shell up probably $300 to. Well, good luck on that. I mean, it's, I'm a sucker. Yeah. I'm a sucker. Yes, you are. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It was enjoyable. I can't really like spoil the plot of the movie because it'd be rude. Peter does stuff to save his friends. Yes, he does. And the bad guy in the end gets what's coming to him. Because every movie has a bad guy. Anyways, this is the, the glowy bridge that I've highlighted. The other bridge has like the 4th of July colors. Let America. Me, I'm gonna zoom in. I don't think the camera will be able to like properly but show But they that. can see the red, white, and blue. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'm just gonna end this vlog off here, so thank you all so much for watching. And anything you want to say before I end it off? Dingle.